The dome has been a hallmark of church design for millennia. As early as 126 AD, the great Pantheon in Rome was constructed. The Pantheon is the oldest prototype of a thin shell concrete dome. The monolithic dome is a high-tech adaptation of the same concept. A domed worship facility reminds congregants of the expanse of heaven, and domes are common in religious architecture. A few of the most notable examples, in addition to the Pantheon in Rome, include St. Paul's Cathedral in London, the Dome of the Rock in Jerusalem, and Hagia Sophia in Istanbul. Some of these required decades to build, but today's technology allows for similar construction in a much shorter time. Spacious and spectacular monolithic dome churches provide near absolute protection from fire, hurricanes, tornadoes, and earthquakes. They are free span, no internal columns are needed for support. Every seat in the congregation has a perfect view. They are also 50 to 75 percent more energy efficient than conventional structures. All of this is available at no extra premium in construction costs. Generally, the construction of a monolithic dome church costs less than that of a conventional structure of a similar size. And if the conventional church is built to meet Type 2 fire resistive codes, the monolithic dome, which automatically meets or exceeds that code, will cost significantly less. Legacy Church in Albuquerque, New Mexico, has a new monolithic dome sanctuary that seats 3,000. Their ministry includes televised, recorded services with contemporary music and dramatic presentations. Leland Gray of LPDJ Architects who designed the church, said it cost about $4.2 million from start to finish. A conventional structure of the same size probably would have cost about $6 million. So, they saved $1.5 to $1.8 million. According to members of Pilgrim's United Church of Christ in Fruitland Park, Florida, their domes use little energy. They report they only occasionally turn on the heat. When temperatures dip into the 40s in winter, they warm up the building just enough to get rid of the early morning chill. But in March, when temperatures rise to the 50s and 60s, the domes usually stay between 70 and 75 degrees. As for air conditioning, both domes have it but they tell us they don't turn it on except on Sundays when it gets crowded with people. In 1984, Maranatha Church in Mont Bellevue, Texas built a 34,000 square foot dome sanctuary and has since reported significant energy savings. During 1998, Pastor Ronnie Trice said that the Maranatha Temple's heating and cooling cost averaged about $1,500 per month which proved to be $8,500 per month less than a similar-sized nearby conventional church. Over the lifetime of a monolithic dome, energy efficiency amounts to huge savings, generally the value of the dome over 20 years. In addition to energy savings, Maranatha is enthusiastic about the unobstructed views in the sanctuary and the excellent acoustics. Concentrating on traditions from the Holy Land, Our Lady's Maronite 200 Family Parish constructed a new 8,500 square foot church in January 1999. The architect for the project said they strove for an old world flavor. The church is Byzantine in style with characteristics of the Eastern Roman Empire. At Living Word Bible Church in Mesa, Arizona, Three domes were completed in July 2001 at a total cost of $7.5 million. The first dome is a 2,000-seat sanctuary in which religious services are televised and concerts, theatrical productions, conferences, and conventions are held. The second dome holds classrooms, a fellowship hall, 
a 100-seat combination cafe and dinner theater, and a gymnasium. The third dome is dedicated to the children. It houses classrooms, play area, and more. The Vice President of Marketing at Living Word said the acoustics were absolutely wonderful. He said no matter where you are in the domes, you can hear everything. And there's no annoying loudness, just a clear, pleasant sound. Fourteen to seventeen hundred people gather for a typical Sunday service at the Christian Center Cathedral of Praise in South Bend, Indiana. Church officials say there's not a bad seat in the house. They say that as a speaker, you can see the faces not only of those right in front of you, but of your listeners sitting all around you. This kind of seating arrangement promotes more of a close family feeling for both speakers and listeners. In 1989, 28 monolithic domes were constructed in Iraq. 27 of the domes were grain storages, 117 foot in diameter and 58 foot tall. It took only four and a half months to complete all 28 domes using mostly local labor. In addition to these, one 117 foot diameter dome was built as a mosque in Basra. The mosque was struck in 2003 by a 5,000 pound bomb. Although the interior will need massive repair, the dome itself is structurally sound and it protected the surrounding area from any damage. Three days after Hurricane Katrina made landfall in 2005, New Life Family Church members returned to find their building survived the hurricane with no structural damage. This church is now the second tallest building still standing in Biloxi. Faith Chapel Christian Center in Birmingham, Alabama is the largest monolithic dome built to date. Construction was completed in 2002 on the 87,000 square foot, 3,200 seat building, which includes a grand entrance hall, classrooms, offices, and a state-of-the-art sound and acoustic system required for the church's television ministry. Plans for expansion commencing in 2005 include five more domes for a variety of purposes. These domes will house a children's play area, an adult bistro, a youth disco, two NBA sites basketball courts, fitness rooms, a platform for youth services, large banquet space, a 12-lane bowling alley, commercial kitchen, and food court. Administrators at Faith Chapel gave us their top three reasons for choosing monolithic domes. The first reason is safety. They are located in tornado country. The second reason is the affordable construction costs and that they are quick to build. Saving profound amounts of money on energy costs is also a motivating factor. Other features of the monolithic dome have reinforced their excitement about their expansion. The dome's clear span construction allows for freedom of interior design. The acoustics can be easily manipulated for a variety of applications. And again, their monolithic domes are permanent and safe. Faith Chapel Christian Center could easily shelter its congregation from a variety of natural and man-made disasters. Monolithic domes are widely accepted in church construction. They cost less to build. They will pay for themselves in energy savings. They are permanent. And most importantly, they will protect you and your congregation should disaster strike. In light of the current political climate, increasing energy costs, and frequency of devastating natural disasters, it seems every new church or religious facility should be built out of monolithic domes. 